Autumn in Pavlovsk. The rooks have flown away. I'm walking through the year's first snow with autumn's last bouquet. But it's not just any bouquet. It's a selection of herbs for making pickles. I'm headed to see Elizaveta Gurkina, the head chef at the Farmstead restaurant. We're going to be preparing some classic, genuinely Russian dishes. As a general rule, restaurants can be divided between those that cater to tourists and those that appeal to true lovers of good food. The farmstead has the distinction of being loved by locals and tourists alike. The restaurant's visitors include actors, athletes, politicians and everyone else who combines a taste for fine cooking with a love for tasty Russian food. Hello, Elizaveta. Hello there. Very nice to meet you. Happy first snow day. Well, and can I also congratulate you on the harvest? I can see it's been a rich one indeed. But I didn't come empty-handed. I have a bouquet for you. Oh, wonderful. It's no ordinary bouquet, though. It's a gourmet bouquet. Oh, wow. Well, I don't even know what all this is. We'll try to get. This is dilgon to seed, correct. This is currant leaf, current. And this is horseradish leaf, exactly correct. I see you've got a duck here. Apples. I have rutabaga too. It'll be as good as a side dish as well. And rutabaga, so we have a great field for imagination here. I believe so. You and I are going to start with a pickled cabbage, which we're going to pickle ourselves. Okay then, let's pickle a cabbage. You can use my rough, masculine labor for this. Perfect. Right, now by all means, the center is quite dense, okay. So, and this is a late harvest cabbage, a winter cabbage in fact. You know, I've sampled my share of cabbages, maybe, but I think our Russian cabbage is the most delicious. You know, when James Cook was discovering Hawaii, the only reason their expedition was a success, the only reason they even survived was that they had pickled cabbage, sauerkraut, a bit like this. Oh, is that the case? Yeah. And thanks to the cabbage, no one got scurvy. And they were able to reach Hawaii. Now remember what we're making, a classic Russian appetizer right now, pickled cabbage. Okay, so I should probably give you... Yes, no, no, let's just do it right here. Okay, so cabbage, well, let's start from the beginning. Let's do this together. Okay, the two of us. Now, we need to have a little pause. Now, the thing is, how did they pickle cabbage in the olden days? They would shred the cabbage and sprinkle it with salt, which is what we'll do too, just a bit, coarse, uh, coarse salt. And so what is it that we're going to pickle here? Well, we have half of, hold on a second, we have half of a head of cabbage, you see. Half a head, I see. So we salt it a little, now take the grater, and if you don't mind, grate the carrot. And so one carrot's enough. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so now we start... Well, look what I'm doing here. I take the carrot, sprinkle it with salt like this. See how that works? Can you hear the crunch of it? Very good. And that's... Well, that's because we've got it in time. Because it's an autumn cabbage. See, when pickling cabbage, be careful not to overdo it with the carrot. That is, you can't put in too much carrot, because carrot really is very sweet. And now we need to add the next portion of cabbage. Okay. Now, as friends, let's do it together. You know, I don't know what you've been coming up with, but still, as a professional, I have to say this one here is... Oh, that's perfect. Well done. Look at this. If I add a little, little more coarse salt in here... Perfect. Now, don't forget that we're not just salting the cabbage, we're actually pickling it. So, you don't need to add too much salt. Of course, it, without any salt at all, it would be absolutely terrible. So, we add just the right amount, just a bit of salt. Now, as we've already salted it, you saw me, I added a pinch. And we don't need to do any more. What I want you to do now is to squish it. Can you feel that? Can you hear how it's crunching? So, now we take this little barrel, okay? 
and we put the cabbage inside. Now you need to pack it in tight. Now we sprinkle on some cranberries. Oh wait, 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 I've had a thought. I thought that well cranberries, well of course, cranberries, these are the most important details. So we pour on a few of the cranberries, and make a little layer as it were of cranberry. Right. And not too much of course, no, 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 not too much. And we then move on to the next layer. One layer of cranberry, and then the next layer. Now of course, I'll explain why, because during the winter, if we want to eat not only cabbage pickled with cranberries, but also cabbage pickled with winter apples, then we need to start cutting these winter apples too. They're called Antonovkas. So, if we slice them up this way, then we make an apple layer too. You can give me a hand, of course. So, just a little, add a little in there. Okay, and now the rest of the cabbage. Now, we don't have to make any dressings, because when this barrel of cabbage is done, well, that is, when it's ready, we can use it for all sorts of different dishes. Okay, and if we make cabbage soup, for example, using pickled cabbage, then there'll be a little piece of apple or cranberry floating in there, which isn't really what we want, is it? I see. So I use this top layer of cabbage, because if I'm making a little potato or pickled cabbage pastries, they shouldn't have any cranberries in them either. And when I want to use it, I've already got it, it's ready there at the top. I can use this, I can move this cabbage elsewhere, for instance, and into another bar. So a bit like this. And then the next cabbage layer will be used for the salad. Okay, I've got it. And I can put the cranberries there. There it goes, the part with cranberries and apples. So how do you keep it? How do you store it? What temperature? Well, the cabbage should be kept around plus two, plus four degrees. So either in the basement or the fridge. Right. Okay. So plus two, plus four, and our cabbage will be ready. Well, I think that in about an hour and a half, we'll have pickled cabbage. I'll put it off to the side here. Shred half of a medium-sized head of cabbage. Sprinkle with a pinch of coarse salt. Grate one carrot. Mix it with the cabbage and squeeze it all gently, using your hands. Put the cabbage and carrot into a little barrel. Top with cranberries, sour apples, and more cabbage. Store in the cellar or refrigerator. And now we'll be brining the cucumbers, making pickled cucumbers. Lightly salted cucumbers, pickles that have stood only for two or three days, can be very good. They have a very distinctive, special taste. Well, what kind of distinctive taste? What kind of lightly salted pickles are you talking about? I mean, you think it takes two to three days, but I think that two to three days is too long for a lightly salted pickle. After all, lightly salted pickles are much tastier when only their outer layer is salted and the interior is still sweet. Very little salt, but three days? That'll give you a fully salted pickle. So will we be salting them in a barrel again? Yes, we'll use a barrel. But in order to salt our pickles in the barrel, we have to make a brine. Right. That is, first we take water. We have a kilogram of cucumbers. This is a kilo? Yes, a kilo. So how much water do we need for this? A litre and a half. And for a litre and a half of water we add, well, we take salt like this, a spoonful, a heap, heaped spoonful of salt, two, three spoonfuls like that. See? Just like that. See more on Russian Travel Guide.